Hey folks, my name is Jürgen, aka Nerd and Proud of It, and Destiny has brought you to my channel today to talk about if it's worth to buy Dominaria Remastered. Yeah folks, I have to be enthusiastic today because we are starting 2023 today, and 2023 is going to be an interesting year for Magic the Gathering. So, a happy new year to all of you, and we're going to check out if this first set that will be released on January 13th. I have to catch my breath in between talking. That's not easy. Um, and <laughs> will be released on January 13th is worth buying. It's looking like an interesting set, to be honest. Let's check out some of the main cards of the set, like Force of Will here, for example. It has been <laughs> reprinted a couple of times recently, but they're going to reprint it again in Dominaria Remastered. We have the Sheevan Dragon, we have the Urza's Incubator, the Sylvan Library, I think it recently had a secret lair, the Sylvan Library, but uh, we're gonna get it again here. Sheevan Dragon, of course, was in the 30th anniversary countdown kit in a different version. Vampiric Tutor has been reprinted in Commander Legend, has been on the list, so we're gonna get that again. And we're gonna get two skews, which is good, I think. Not too many skews, just two. The draft booster boxes and the collector booster boxes. And I think it will be very interesting to draft with this set. Is it worth to buy it? Yeah, we also got the Retro Foils, uh, beautiful maze of it here. I don't know if it's worth to buy it though. I think it's worth to buy it if you just want to play and if you just want to open a few cool cards and if you just want to use the draft booster boxes as a way to enjoy old cards and a lot of nostalgia with your friends. But if it's worth to buy, if you're really looking for specific cards, I don't know, I think you rather should buy singles because if you have a look at this, the set overall is nice. Like I said, it's very nostalgic. We got Sarah Angel, we got Savannah Line, we got Sarah Avatar. A lot of cool cards. And we're going to look at the other colors as well. Of course, Spirit Link, very nostalgic. Um, so what's the Plowshares? Beautiful, beautiful card. I have a picture of a Retrofoil a little later of that one. Wrath of God. Who doesn't know it? I mean, very cool and probably <laughs> really fun to play in a sealed counter spell so a lot of nostalgia in here a lot of cards people should be familiar with a lot of cards people should know does it create a need for these cards though or is it more like a nice to have i mean everybody who needs a vampiric tutor probably has it now everybody who needs a force of will for their commander deck probably has it now after the after the many reprints cards gonna be worth less after this set Although the set is quite expensive, I saw the draft booster boxes for around 200 bucks and the collector booster boxes for around 300 bucks on the market currently. And that's two weeks before release, roughly two weeks before release. I don't know if it's a good move to already reprint a lot of these cards. Yeah, if you need it, fine perfect for you i i wouldn't have done it i mean we just had a couple of vampiric tutor versions so yeah let's have a look at the alternate art cards here very very cool looking i have to say i saw one or two openings online already and just look at this retro foil swords to plowshares here this is beautiful i want to have this i want to open this i probably would be very happy with opening a Swords to Plowshares uh, in a Retro Foil version, just because it looks so cool. <laughs> no, no doubt about that. I think the set will be very much a set that is a lot of fun to play. And that's worth something, right? Are we gonna miss out? Because of the fact that, for example, Time Spiral Remastered was underprinted. I don't think so. I, I think they're gonna put out a lot of this set because uh, it's the beginning of the year. They wanna start strong. Yeah, look at the alternate art of the Vampiric Tutor and the York Moth. It uh, just looks looks really cool. I think um, artwork is spot on. Uh, look at the red cards here. They look very cool. Don't forget the Chain Lightning. Very, very cool card. I love it. I prefer the Legends version, but it is definitely a card that I would enjoy to open. Overall, 
like I said, folks, you have to make up your mind. Uh, do you wanna do you wanna open it uh, en masse? Uh, so a lot of boxes just to get certain cards. Yeah, Birds of Paradise, of course, fantastic. It's very cool as well in this version. I think I uh, really like it. I think it's also a very cool version of the Sylvan Library here. And we got, uh, of course, uh, that went a bit too fast. <laughs> Sorry for that. We got a lot of uh, uh, old gold bordered cards and they probably will look very cool in uh, in foil. Especially the ones you know very well, like Solkana, the Swamp King here. It had a couple of reprints as well, I think. Xira Aryan from Legends as well is in here. All these old cool cards look fantastic. I have to I have to admit that that's that's not the problem. It's more like, do you want to spend a lot of money on this set? Uh, Icy manipulator here, the helm, cool cool cards cards. Uh, Gauntlet of power, very well known, very nostalgic. I I dig that. Ornithopter, we just had it in Brothers War as well, Mindstone. Yeah, you can read it for yourselves, but I, I'm just recognizing these cards, just scrolling through them, and that's very, very cool. And the treatment here doesn't seem like it's overdone. There are not a hundred versions. We got like one, two, three versions of certain cards, and then the foil version, so that uh, looks pretty cool. Lens are very, very nice as well. You already saw like the gemstone cavern here and the dual lands when they come into play. If you control the corresponding basic land, they don't come into play tapped. Very nice one. I'm, I'm not sure how they called. How they called like, uh, yeah. Um, let me know in the comments what they called. <laughs> Uh, gemstone mine alternate version maze of it here we also like i showed in the beginning have a beauty be beauty be <laughs> beautiful beautiful retro foil version of the maze of it and some other cards and those of course are looking fantastic you have to make up your mind folks deep sigh sorry for that but um personally i think again if you need certain cards, it's probably better to buy the singles. I, I really don't need a lot of cards of the set personally. If I look at it, I have four Birds of Paradise. I have four Sylvan Libraries. I have four Force of Wills. Yeah, those those accumulated over the years. And I, I don't really need these cards. I have one Vampiric Tutor for... Um, I, I bought one when commander legends came out i think i bought uh, it for 40 bucks or something so I, I got these cards so if you are just after certain cards I, I rather would buy singles if you think hey fuck it let's buy a box let's buy a draft booster box and just open it play together with your friends open cool old nostalgic cards do a draft, do a tower, probably a lot of fun. So I think it's a cool set. I can really appreciate what they did with the with the recognizable iconic cards. On the other hand, I think um, it's not a good idea to reprint a lot of the cards that are reprinted here as the main driver for the set already because they just have been reprinted a couple of times. And personally, I think uh, the reprint policy is not the best at the moment from Wizards of the Coast. So yeah, make up your mind what you want to get and let me know in the comments, do you want to buy the set? Are you heavy into Dominaria Remastered or are you skipping it? I will probably skip it as I skipped so many sets over the last couple of months. I. I'm not really triggered to buy this, but let me know if you are. I'm very curious what you're gonna do. Are you gonna buy heavily into the set or are you gonna skip the set? What what is what is your plan? <laughs> let me know in the comments, folks. I hope you started the year well. Thanks a lot for listening, folks. Stay healthy, stay frosty, and I talk to you next time. Bye bye.